Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Rog Hudson, more specifically about the former home of Rog Hudson, the one he would call the castle. I'll talk to you a little bit about that and the fact that it actually and is currently at the time of this video is on the market. I'll let you know how it's how much it's worth currently, how much they're asking for the property, who owned it right after Rock Hudson. And in fact, we'll go inside the home. I'll give you a little bit of a tour. I'll show you pretty much all the cool rooms. I'll show you the entire outer property and we'll take a bird's eye aerial view. It's a really exciting thing to look at. So let's take a look at his property. But before I do that, I do want to mention that I am giving away an I Love Lucy season four DVD set. I'll explain why and how Rock Hudson ties to this I Love Lucy DVD set I'm giving away. It's completely free. There's no payment on your part. It's literally I do giveaways all the time and it's my way of giving back to all of you who are great supporters of the channel. How do you win? Well, make sure to watch the entire video and I'll let you know. Now I do have to mention how Rock Hudson is pretty much the preeminent star of the 50s and basically the golden era of Hollywood. Pillow Talk, Giant, Come September, Lover, Come Back, those are some of the things that he's most well known about. But he was also a celebrity guest star on the show I Love Lucy, which is basically the connection to the DVD set that I'll be giving away. Now in this episode, the Ricardos and Mertzes are in Hollywood, but they head over to Palm Springs to take a little bit of a vacation, but they're annoyed with each other. That is the couples. The boys kind of go on their own and the girls go on their own and they have a little bit of a fight, kind of a break from marriage episode. Now in this one, Ricky gets Rock Hudson because he knows him working at the studio and he tries to make him as a kind of medium the middle point, the mediator to try to get the girls back with the boys. And Rockinson tells us a really crazy and funny story about Adele Sliff and how Sam never <whistles> again. It was such a great little scene and really impressive that she was able to get him as well as Desi Arnaz on the program. Now going back to Rock Hudson and his home, he actually had several homes throughout his life. He had one during his marriage to Phyllis Gates. Then afterwards, after his divorce, he had a Malibu beach home as well. And then of course, the big head honcho, the one that he would often call the castle. The address was 9402 Beverly Crest Drive in Beverly Hills, California. Do you want to guess the zip code? Yep. 90210, just like the TV show, 90210. It was right in the heart of Beverly Hills. Now, he was essentially in love with this home. It was a grand, secluded, Spanish-style mansion that he bought in the 1960s with his untimely death at age 59 in the year 1985. He essentially died in this home, and it was sold to a man named Paul Allen, who you may have heard of. He was one of the founders of Microsoft. He bought it in 1992. Now, some parts were destroyed by him and rebuilt. He kind of put his own spin on the home. And I do have to add that after so long, the home is finally on sale. So if you have a few million laying around in your bank account, this is your chance to own the former home of Rock Hudson. Now, I know you all know how much the home is at this point yes it is 55 million and 525 thousand dollars currently and it's on the market it's a five bedroom five bathroom home 24,000 yes 24,370 square feet now it's on a 3.2 acre hilltop estate with pretty much an unobstructed view of the entire city of Los Angeles. You can see downtown Los Angeles all the way to the ocean. Downtown LA being roughly 15 miles from the coastline, which again, you can see a lot farther than downtown Los Angeles. Now there's a lot of history with this building, multiple structures, not just one. There's a lot of greenery in the area and it's very secluded, giving privacy to the new homeowner. There is a courtyard covered in bougainvilleas as well as a 1920 Spanish style hacienda. Now with these five bedrooms, there's a beautiful living room as well with pretty much beam ceilings, a 
an elegant library, there's a family room, there's a gym and a massage room, the gourmet kitchen chef as well. Now there's a main bedroom suite, they have long walking closets, limestone bathrooms, professional screening rooms as well. There's a separate two bedroom guest house in case you have people over, you can bring them along. And yes, if you wanna hire some staff, there are staff quarters. Now there is a really gorgeous swimming pool. There's actually a championship lighted tennis court. So in case you're a big fan of tennis, you'll be able to do that. And there's an outdoor area for entertaining people throughout the entire property. Now, in case you wanna do any recording, yes, there's a studio guest house with a private office structure as well. And in case you want the breakdown of everything, the five bedroom, four and a half main bath residence is 9,500 square feet. The cinema building is 1,800 square feet. Two bedroom, two bath guest house is about 1,700 square feet. The two bedroom, two bath, staff quarters is about a thousand square feet and the one bedroom three and a half bath recording studio is nine thousand square feet so that's a breakdown of the rooms the buildings and the property here are some images of how it was during that time that is how rock hudson had his living room and just a couple of photos of him in the property which are really cool to see i think it's really interesting to see the before and after now it's of course kind of hard to get some interior shots but these are the ones that i was able to find for you going back at that time and hopefully they're enjoyable to you so taking a look at the area where we come to the home of rock hudson that is a former home of rock hudson this is Beverly Crest. This is the street right here. You can see how narrow it is. There's barely room for two cars. There's really no room for two cars to park and then a third car in the middle. It's really cramped and it's up the side of a hill. And um, yeah, it's really cramped. You can see how the cars are parked here. And if we come to this area, this is the gate. So this is how you would essentially get in. And it's really interesting because you can see the home back here. You can see these beautiful trees. Um, you can see just how it's lined up. A lot of these homes, especially in the Hollywood, Beverly Hills area that are isolated like this, they're very closed off. You can see very little from the actual road on purpose so that the residents aren't bothered. You can see this other property over here, how it's uh, basically fenced off and stuff. But this is all public, or that is where these, um, where this road is that we're currently on. And you can even come a little bit forward and you can see there's kind of a side entrance right over here and even a mirror here to be able to glance the corner because it's a blind corner driving over here. You can see how windy, how crazy it is. Uh, but yeah, this is essentially what you can see. So if you were to come in this area and try to sneak a peek, you wouldn't be able to see much. Um, and that is, of course, as I mentioned, by design. Um, but yeah, at least some people could say, and you can see the home here coming outside the background um, or the top part of the photo here. Now looking at a more of an aerial shot, this is essentially where we started out when we were on the street. If you can imagine, and this is the entrance. I can't zoom in more unfortunately, but this is the entrance that I was showing you where you would come into the house. So you can kind of get an idea of the overall layout. You can see how big the property is. Um, and there's even construction going on over here. Look at this full size tennis court, swimming pool. Um, you can see how it's on the overlook. So from this top part of the house, there's even a pool right here. Um, there are, the, it's kind of like an entrance where you can come down or you can descend down into the tennis court area. So this is part of the property as well. Even if I give a little bit of a turn, you can see it a little better into it and you can see it's just, it's just massive. It's just so massive. And it's great that we're able to get an idea of what his home looked like. Now the side view is great as well because you can actually see um, how you descend from this side of the property down this hill and up into the tennis court area. And there's so much more here. The thing is a lot of it is covered obviously by trees, but you can see um, just all the many little pockets and things that are present in the home which is really, really cool. Remember the entrance is all the way over here, garage area and all that. So it's just really amazing. I know, and I thank all of you for watching up to this point. I'm gonna let you know how you can win your very own I Love Lucy season four DVD 
for this giveaway. All you have to do is make sure that you are a subscriber. It's absolutely free to be a subscriber. And not only that, when you do subscribe, it does help out the channel. And as I mentioned, all people who are subscribed are one step closer to being eligible for the giveaway. You also have to make sure to like this video and leave a comment. Now your comment can have and contain anything you want, but it has to have the words, well, there I say, word castle. That is what Rock Hudson called his home. As long as castle is in your comment, you will be eligible. And then finally, there's a link down in the description below where I would just ask you to just give a little bit of background information, very simple stuff, just so when I pick the winner, I can send your DVD free of charge to your mailing address. And that's about it. I'll let you know in the community section of my Rick9G page who won the giveaway. So make sure it's absolutely free. And I'm so excited to see who the winner will be. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. Thank you so much for supporting me. And most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all the supporters I have on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. Vito L, Tommy G, Ricky, David D, Citizen Kane, Sally N, and Grace U. If you want to find more exclusive content, visit my Patreon page. Links in the description.